The James Webb Space Telescope has found a black hole so early in the universe that astrophysicists think it simply shouldn't exist. It's supposedly a paradigm change for cosmology. It upends all theories and it changes everything. And once again, no one wants to mention that modified gravity predicted it. Just what did they see and what does it mean? Let's have a look. The James Webb Telescope launched in late 2021 and has been delivering data since 2022. A common theme in this data is that it's found things that shouldn't exist according to the standard model of cosmology, also known as Lambda CDM. The James Webb Telescope can detect extremely faint signals that allows us to look back into the history of the universe better than ever before. It's detected the first galaxies that have been in the universe, which formed roughly 3,000 million years after the Big Bang. And the Webb Telescope has delivered quite some surprises. It's seen galaxies that are too big, too bright, and that have too much structure to fit with dark matter theories. This is because dark matter theories predict that galaxies should form very gradually from smaller galaxies. The new discovery now concerns an even stranger observation of what astrophysicists have called little red dots. The name refers to the signal they see. These have a very small diameter and an emission in the red range. This observation fits with black holes that are surrounded by very hot dust. It's not just one. The James Webb Space Telescope has observed a few hundred of those by now. However, another possibility is that they're dense star clusters. This one is special. It's called Abel 2744QSO1, named after Elon Musk's 28th child. Just checking if you're listening. This observation is remarkable because because it's the first time that astrophysicists have been able to resolve the speed at which gas circles around one of those little red dots, and that allows them to measure the mass. It came out to be 50 million solar masses, and not only that. The data shows that the mass is so concentrated that it's just incompatible with a dense star cluster. A black hole is the only thing that fits. What makes this so perplexing is that there's nothing around the black hole. If the black hole had formed from stars, then not only would it have been hard to explain how that could happen so quickly, but also there should be other stars left in the vicinity of the black hole. And there are some but very few of them. As the astrophysicists put it, it's the most naked black hole that's ever been seen. There isn't much around it. This basically can't happen in the standard cosmological model. There just wasn't enough time for the black hole to form. The only way for this to make sense is therefore to say that the black hole didn't form from stellar collapse. It was created directly by density perturbations in the plasma in the early universe. These types of hypothetical black holes are called primordial. Until a decade or so ago, primordial black holes have been somewhat of a fringe idea that no one paid a lot of attention to. This was so for a good reason. The reason is that it's fairly easy to explain why primordial black holes did not form. But to make up a theory for primordial black holes so that it fits to observations requires a lot of very finely balanced assumptions, which is something that physicists don't like. Be that as it may, the data don't seem to care what physicists don't like. At the moment, it seems that primordial black holes are what it'd take to explain this observation within the dark matter paradigm. But like with the two big and two bright galaxies, this observation isn't so difficult to explain with modified gravity, modified Newtonian dynamics to be precise. This is the alternative explanation to dark matter. It has it that we have misunderstood something about how gravity works, though Albert doesn't like this at all. In modified Newtonian dynamics, gravity in the early universe is stronger than in the dark matter case. And this is why stars form earlier and galaxies grow faster. And black holes do too, as was pointed out in a paper from May by Ippon and Gruppe. What are we to make of this? I give this paper a 5 out of 10 on the bullshit meter because I suspect that this discovery will be questioned by other astrophysicists. Even if the data hold up, 
they'll come up with some explanation that'll fit with the dark matter story by cooking up some new way of making galaxies and black holes grow faster. And if that doesn't work, they'll almost certainly prefer primordial black holes to modified gravity. But personally, I take this discovery to move my Mondo meter further towards Mondigan. After big galaxies and naked black holes, maybe it's time NASA gets an OnlyFans account. Bet you didn't see this one coming. Marvel, famous for its superhero comics, has teamed up with NordVPN to show how important internet safety is. Creative, entertaining and informative. I much enjoyed this. But let me tell you some more about NordVPN. It's an app that you install on your phone or laptop that routes your internet connection through a secure server. NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world and you can pick one where you like. This has multiple benefits. First of all, it keeps all your data safe, even on a public wireless. It also keeps you anonymous and hard to track online. And finally, if you run into troubles with websites that are blocked in some countries, you can switch to a different server in some other country and access the website from there. I've been using NordVPN for years. It's super user-friendly and I find it very convenient. It also comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. NordVPN is a high quality product that works as advertised and I'm happy to recommend it. If you want to try it out yourself, use our link nordvpn.com slash Sabine or use the coupon code Sabine for our special offer. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.